Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Once again, we will be looking at this cute mini octopus uploaded by McGuybeer. Now, first, let's take a look at all the files that he has, and to do that, we're going to click on Thing Files right over here. With this model, I recommend that you download only two files. You should only be printing one of two models. The first model is the Octopus Support 5.6. Second model is the Octopus Spiral Support 5.6. Now, I recommend you print with this model over here. And you should only be printing with this model. The only reason you should be printing with the other model up here is if your print bed is not big enough to fit this uh, model over here. So if you scale your model and you want it super big and it doesn't fit with this version, then you're gonna have to download this version. Or if your print is just really small to begin with, then you are going to have to be downloading this version. And we'll get more into that a little bit later on on why I recommend that. But for now, try to print with this model and this model only. Next, let's go over here to Thing Details and let's take a look at the recommendations from the developer. He says, no rafts, no supports, a resolution of 200 micrometers or a 0.2 millimeter layer height and the infill should be 0% for the tentacles and 15% for the head. So we'll take note of that whenever we are messing with the slicer. Next, we're gonna go back over here to things files and we're going to click on the download button for the octopus support or the spiral sup, whichever you decided to print. So for this video, and actually for, we'll be messing with both, but let's start off with the 5.6 right here. Click on the blue download here and give it a few seconds to download. And once that's done, you're going to click on this carrot, show in folder. You're going to click and hold on the STL and drag it over to Cura software, like so. And once you plug it in, it should take a few seconds to load up. And once it does, you'll see this cute little model right over here on your screen. Now let's start messing with the settings. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this profile tab over here. We're going to click on this box and we're going to select a layer height of 0.2 millimeters. Click on that and if this pops up, click on the discard changes because we do not want to use any of the old print settings from your last print. We're going to use completely new, brand new settings here. The next setting we're going to mess with is infill. You have two options here. If you like weights to your model, like I do, I recommend you set this infill density to 15% and forget about the 0% for tentacles infill and the 15% for everything uh, else like the head. I like weight to mine and I like whenever the uh, legs have that little shake because of the weight. So if you're fine with that and if you are a beginner, just stick with 15% and then move on to the next step of the video. If you want to do what the developer uh, recommends, this is how we do it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to select or set the infill density over here to 0% because we want the tentacles to be 0%. So set this to 0%. But by doing this, this automatically defaults the entire model to have an infill density of 0%. But we don't want that. We want the head to have 15% infill density. So how do we do that? We click anywhere on the model and we're going to go down here to this little uh, box called support blocker. We'll click on that and then we're going to click anywhere on the head and that's going to spawn a invisible box. So let's click on this invisible box and we are going to scale this box. So the second drop down here, click on that and let's scale it so it somewhat covers the head. So about here, it, it covers most of the head and don't worry about moving it. We're going to move it in a second. Just make sure that the box is big enough. So mine is set to 350%. So let's just do 350. So you guys can follow along easily. 350. Click anywhere on the screen. We're going to go click on the uh, box again. And then we're going to click on move up here, the first button. And now we're going to click and, and hold on these arrows and drag the model or drag the invisible box such that it covers the entire head. So I'm rotating with the right click on my mouse to move the camera around. And uh, I'm going to click on the screen arrow to bring it back a little. 
and then uh, I'll bring it down a little as well, right there. But make sure this box does not touch any of the tentacles. We only want the head to have the new 15% uh, infill. So right here looks pretty good. And it looks like the entire head is covered. That's exactly what we want. After this, actually the mouth is a little uh, off. So let's uh, drag that up a little. There you go. Next, we are going to click on the button above this support blocker, which is the per model settings. Click on that. And then we're going to click on the third button down here, which says modify settings for overlaps. Click on that. And you're going to see our invisible box now turns somewhat yellow. What we're going to do after this, we're going to is we're going to do uh, we're going to select settings here. Click on that. And now we are going to click or search up better yet infill. So search up infill and then you'll see this infill density box. Click on this box, check it. Hit close, and now change this infill density over to 15% right here. 15%. Done. And now we are done with setting the tentacles to 0% and the head for 15%. Off to the next step. Next is going to be the supports. Make sure this box is unchecked. We do not want supports for this model. If you add supports, it's going to mess up the model, so make sure that is unchecked. Finally, build plate adhesion. The developer recommends no adhesion, uh, no build plate adhesion. So make sure this set to skirt. Now, if you've printed this model before and you have issues where the legs don't stay on the print bed or, you know, it doesn't print correctly because of the tentacles, then you can click on this box and click on raft. And that is only if you have a very poor adhesion and this model does not print properly. Like the legs keep, um, you know, disconnecting midway through the print. So only if that happens, click on raft. If not, just go back to skirt, default to skirt. And after that, we're done. All you have to do now is click on the blue slice button and then give it a few moments to slice up. Now that it's finished slicing, you will be given a rough time estimate of how long it's going to take to print. So for me, it's about 2 hours and 53 minutes. And it also tells me I'm going to use about 21 grams of filament. Now, how do we verify that we actually have 0% on the tentacles and 50% infill on the head? You can do that by clicking on the preview button over here. And this is how the printer is going to print the model. This is how it should look. But you can go up here to this line over here, this uh, on the right hand side. And click and hold on this ball. And you can drag it down and you'll see how the model prints. So as you can see, the head actually has infill. And according to the slicer, that's about 15%. And if you go all the way down to the tentacles, you'll see that they're basically empty. Other than for the joints, which need to be printed, of course. But yes, the tentacles are now at 0%. And once we go up, you see that it switches over to 15% for the head. So that's good. And all we have to do now is uh, save the file and then send it over to your printer. Now, let's say the model that I recommended was too big for your print bed, or you wanted this model a little bit bigger and it didn't fit on your print bed. Then you can go over to the spiral support. So let's do this one now. Click download. And same thing, click on the carrot, show in folder. And then it's this one down here, click and hold and drag it over to your slicer. Now I'm going to be a little bit quicker because we already went through the settings, but uh, there's only one thing you have to change with this model from the last setting. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you use a layer height below standard. So if you're printing with a 0.2, you're going to have to go down to 0.16 or 0.12. Why? Because with I've seen that even with a bigger model at point two, some of the hinges or some of the uh, tentacles will actually fuse right here where my mouse is. It will fuse together and will refuse to get unstuck. And if you pull it apart, it's just going to ruin the model. So trust me on this. Go down one layer height if you choose to uh, print this model right here. I said you should only be printing this model if you decided to scale the model up. So I'll do that for this case. I'm going to scale it up to, let's say, 150%. 
Now, at 150%, the model may or may not print on the print bed extended with the other version. So this would have been a good reason to go to this model. So real quickly again, choose a layer height below 0.2. Now I have a thick or a very big nozzle, so I can't go down, but just imagine this as 0.16 or 0.12. Click on that, click on discard. We are going to set the infill over to 0%. Click on the model, support blocker, click. We're going to scale this support blocker. Uh, so it covers the head. And we'll move it. Make sure it covers everything. Next, click on the model again, or the invisible box per model settings. Third one down, select settings, infill, click on that, close, set it over to 15, done. And we're gonna make sure we have uh, no supports, make sure that's unchecked. And we're also gonna make sure that the uh, build fit adhesion is set to skirt. Finally, let's click on the blue slice button. Give it a few seconds to slice up. And once again, always preview the print. Let's take a look if we did get that infill we wanted. Going down slightly, we see the infill. Yep, that's good. Going down to the tentacles, we see that they are completely empty. So they are set to 0%. Perfect, so save the file and send it over to your printer. Once the model is done printing, you will have to remove the support under the mouth. That can easily be done by hand. Depending on your printer accuracy, some of the tentacles may be stiff. So go through each and every joint and move it back and forth, up and down until the joints are flexible, fully flexible. Do let me know if you have any questions or any feedback.